Hey guys, we're back. Last time, uh, Fire was really concerned with my Woody for some reason. Well, someone has to be. There's a bromance going on, and I thought I'd join in. Yeah, me, me and my Woody are having a pretty ridiculous bromance at the moment. But anyway, let's get back to uh, fixing that mirror that's been broken for how many episodes? Like... When did he break it? I think he broke it at the end of the second one, so it's been broken for about an episode and a half, and uh, it's a very large asset to us, so we want to get it fixed as soon as possible. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. <laughs> Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just beauty in the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Where is the butcher? Who is gonna Don't head go far, back here? Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh yeah? Take a number. <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for however... Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. 
You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. If you're waiting for me Here, to Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Well, he's happy. <laughs> that was a quick resolution. Yeah, lucky you took the money. Bluebeard, you want to <laughs> talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. But someone did. Mm. What would make a person do that? I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I oh, have to say, time. I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Nice. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Just Whoa. what happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. I looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby... We don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean them and cook them together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. And we know where the Crooked Man lives and we're gonna go to his house and knock his door down and kill everything inside. Let's go. Oh, I thought we were gonna put him on trial. Well, that's what you told Snow anyway. Oh, okay, never mind. We're gonna take him back alive! 
We can kill all of his friends. I'm not fucking knocking on this. Alright. First person we see gets a punch to the face. It's Dracula's castle. Tim. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's Tiny Tim. Me, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. Punches to the face, no. Tiny. I don't have an option. Tiny. I don't have an option for that. <laughs> I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. I can hear his equipment squeaking. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Or an escort, for that matter. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. You got a job to do. I hate. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hi. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. It's hard to guess who did it when the person who did it has never been you seen see, before. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> Smoke! That's the cool thing to do. Just shows the right amount of disrespect. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> well, everything seems to be wrapping up. We're uh, in a face-to-face -face meeting with a crooked man in a room full of people that really don't like us. No, but they've got some reason from our past, I guess. But, you know, we're a changed man. Well, besides the senseless beating up of everyone who's ever been in that room basically 
Um, we, uh, we found it on pretty much everyone in that room except for the one girl that I remember. So. And the Crooked Man. <laughs> and the Crooked... Well, we haven't really hounded on the Crooked Man just yet. But, uh, we'll get to it next time, maybe. Um, <laughs> so far, it looks like everything's kind of wrapping up. Next time, we'll have all the answers as we get into Episode 5, and we'll learn everything that's that's left um we still actually don't know who the killer is um yeah. it, it hasn't been said straight up so fire weaver this is your last chance to make an estimated guess if you got one well it really just points to you know the involvement of bloody mary and the crooked man together in their organization but i think next episode everything will come up big b you think you think Big B did it? What? No, I mean like he'll sort it all out. That's what I mean. Oh. It'll all come out in the wash. You didn't answer my question. I did. I said Bloody Mary and uh, and the Crooked Man. Oh. Oh, you think Bloody Mary killed the girls? Well, on the on the orders of the Crooked Man, maybe. All right. Okay, cool. Got it. Well, we'll see you next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm very wrong. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but it's okay. I forgive you. It was Buffkin! <laughs>